<laughs> now, Jeannie, I know that you were hard at work, actually, yeah. during your birthday uh, weekend as well, because last night you covered the Golden Globes, Red yes. Carpet for E. Look at that dress. You look absolutely stunning. Who, who, who did you wear? Okay, so I wore an Asian designer because I it was a big that. epic year for Crazy Rich Asian. Huge. Come through. So I wore Kenneth Barlis, who's a Filipino designer, but at the same time, what I loved, it was the representation on the carpet in general. We all know Black Panther, Crazy Rich Asians. It was a huge year for monumental so films So much like amazing that. fashion yes. on display. So I have to ask you, what were your top three favorite looks? Okay, it was hard because I thought the Golden Globes was so scattered with different It takes. was. It was a lot different yeah. this year. I would say first up... They didn't up, play it safe. No, nobody played it safe, which is really nice for Golden Globes. I thought Gemma, Gemma Chan for, from the Crazy Rich Asians film. She was epic nice. because she did like a short type of a look with an exaggerated train. It had uh, the glamour, it had the glitz, but it had the pop of the party underneath Worship. as well. Okay. Yep, I also really, really loved Emma Rossum. Oh, Emma Rossum yeah. was beautiful. She had like a princess belle that in the ball dress. look. Ooh. That pink was it, was, it was Monique Moulier. And it just, it, when you can wear tulle, but it looks very effervescent and it looks like it's tapered to your body. Uh -huh. When you got that uh -huh. clavicle ball. Yes, and, and like, you love the decolleté. Okay. Yeah, love Which it. you know, you, you like have that. like even that highlighter you got on I your cheekbones right now. You put that on your decolleté, it'll pop that. <laughs> and then Regina King, a friend of the yes! real. Love her. I love her dress. It now looked like ice cascading on her she body. Yeah, okay. And she had to build them like champagne, like champagne rosé. Yes, like a champagne flute. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think when we were walking, she actually congratulated me on my 40s, and I congratulated her back because I was like, she was walking with her son, Ian, and I was like, bitch, you're late in the way. <laughs> Show me what's up. Uh, Teach me something because she looked amazing. And the women just, uh, it was times up, times two. We were really marking that w the, the time that women are speaking up, hearing their voices, yes. and really celebrating together what it, t what it means to be united. And so the Golden Globes was really a monumental year. I loved, I loved it. it. It was such a great show. Exactly. Yeah. I told you guys, I never stay awake for this kind of stuff, but I did last night. Yeah, and, and Israel is into it, right? Oh my God, is that the he's deal? He's really into it. He's attending award so shows, random. but he loves Loves watching them on television. Okay. All right. Loves watching them. And he's really into movies and he makes me go see all these movies. Oh, nice. Well, but, there's yeah. some really good movies, but speaking of yeah. the Globes, there were a lot of big winners and big moments last night. Yes. I want to shout out the host, Andy Sandberg and Sandra. Sandra. Oh. oh! They, okay. Because there's a lot going on with hosts right now, yeah. you know, as we know, okay? okay? And so deal. this is like the first a major award season. Um, they played it real safe. Yes. yes. But the, uh, their opening monologue, to me, was very good. It was funny. Well it was positive. <laughs> okay. It wasn't God. that funny, though. Johnny. It was funny. It was, to me, it was, it was funny. Safe. Safe and it was, was safe. Word. And it, the, 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 this is the problem I had, okay? It was too safe. I will agree with that. It was yeah. funny, but it was too safe because the purpose of the Globes is different than the Oscars. The Oscars are more formal. The Globes is when you can, you know, do your little... Loosen it up a little know, bit. Loosen okay. it up. Yeah. That's why they drink. Nobody was drinking last night. Everybody was sober. So, you know what I mean? It just, yeah. Like, it like, lost its let's put it this way. I was actually cooking dinner in the kitchen, and I would turn around if, like, something I heard on the TV was like, Wah! I didn't turn around very often. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, unless it was like, oh, come see what someone's wearing, yeah. or, like, I just was like... There were no real... There but were, why okay. do you think that happened, though? Because they're playing it safe, you guys. We're obviously in a really different time and a different era where we have to be careful what we say, which I think is very important. But there's got to be a way to do that and still have some fun. Especially yeah. since nowadays, I think the sense of humor we take from is the gram, and the mm -hmm. gram goes there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, your sense of humor it should be pushed a little bit further because we try it. The internet always wins. Yes. So right. I feel like the sense of humor should lay along And the that. only moment that they did that in was, yo... When Sandra was like, if there are 100 people in the room right. and 99 don't believe in you, <laughs> all you need is one person to believe. And that one person was who? Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. I know, obviously. Because that did was, they, that was doing a play, play off of her. Uh, did they pan to her when they made that yes, joke? Yeah, they did. Laughing. It was hysterical. If you haven't yeah. seen it, look Google it up. It. Yeah. Yes, it's a big yeah. one.